What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Resurrection Auto YouTube channel. So behind me we've got Fire Chief, the 62 Chevy Biscayne that uh, we built a while back for a burnout car. Um, it, whenever we built it, as you guys know, it was thrown together in like four, four or five days, something like that anyway. Um, and a lot of things are just kind of like janky on it. So I wanted to go through and fix a lot of those issues because I bought Jordan out of his half of this car a while back. And I want to kind of turn it into something that I can drive back and forth to work every once in a while. Go out, still go do burnouts. It's still going to auto motion this uh, spring. And it's probably going to get absolutely destroyed out there. But I'll bring it back, rebuild it again. Um, so let's go through some of the things on this car that suck that need to be addressed. All right, so number one in the engine bay, massive oil leak. I just got done cleaning windshield and light bar because it was completely covered in oil. You could not see it or see through it. Um, I think I have a video clip of it all oily and I'll put that in here like right Yeah, you yeah. know, that's fucking weird. Okay, um, so as you've seen, oil all over windshield. So that's bad. Um, then we had bad clamps. Where did I put them? Right there. So these clamps right here are absolute trash. They're just some ching chong garbage. Um, so those going in the trash can. I'm going down and getting some heavy duty ones like these guys here um, from the local parts store. They've got them. Um, and then did a big old burnout and I threw the belt off of it. I haven't posted that video because it's not in the right format, but if you guys want to see it, it's a really, really good one. And uh, ask crit. We're just gonna put that in the video right. Shut up, okay, so we're back from doing big old burnout, right? Well, anyway, it threw the belt off of it and all that jazz. and It was cool and fun, and I like doing burnouts. But anyway, so there's that. The wiring. The wiring is horrible. I mean, we just got wires running all over the place. I mean, they're, they're tied up and they look okay-ish. Nothing's loomed. Nothing looks right. It's not a harness. There's not a single fuse on the car, so I mean, you got to get something arcing we're gonna just burn the whole car down which you know at this point wouldn't be such a bad deal um you know it, it was never wired to have headlights uh headlights taillights anything i mean it's all just junk so i bought some new headlights Let's see if i can open this one-handed these are pretty sweet I got new headlights all four of them boom just like that. So new headlights are going in it. I got a whole wiring harness for the car. Well, it's not for the car, it's just a universal one, but it's gonna be a heck of a lot better than what's in here. Um, and then also the cooling system is horrible. So this is a factory radiator from Jordan's 69 Camaro. So that's gonna go back to Jordan. And uh, then it's just got this one single fan on it that's just zip tied to it and as we've talked about before if you don't have an actual shroud you know going around the fan and the radiator 
to cover all of this so that the fan actually draws through all of the radiator. It's only pulling through that one spot where the radiator is and or where the fan is mounted to and it's not doing a very efficient job of cooling. I mean you're only using about 30 percent of the radiator to cool with and that just you know whenever you got one of these hair dryer dudes they you know make a lot of heat so that's not going to cut it. So what I got is I got a big old aluminum ragitator with the shroud and dual fans so that should keep this sucker cool and hopefully we won't have any heating issues anymore with this thing um what else was there there was some other stuff we fixed the ignition issues the brakes are okay-ish um destroyed those rear tires so got a new a couple of couple pairs of tires outside to put in here. Um, these seats are actually gonna go into the cab over. And I have some black cloth seats that are going to go in here um, that aren't power, so I don't have to worry about any of that. The trans is junk, so I've got a rebuild kit over there in a box somewhere behind the cab over. Uh, so trans needs to get taken out and rebuilt. I need to check the fluid in the rear diff because it leaks. Um, I need to patch up all these sweet holes in the floor because those are, you know, those are good. You want holes in your floor. So, got to get those fixed. You know, holes. Probably will fix this spot. And maybe I'll start going along and, you know, patching up all the holes in the body, at least part ways. Um, I'd really like to move the fuel cell into the trunk but I don't have enough fuel hose um, to do that. And I'm not ordering any until I get a new pump because I'm going with a bigger pump and all that stuff too. But that is not gonna be for a while yet. So, I mean, all this trash needs to just get thrown out of here. Every time it gets taken to a burnout competition or wherever, I mean, it just gets a whole bunch of junk thrown in here. And there's rust and trash and, you know, all sorts of junk. This door doesn't close for well. There it goes. So, yeah. So all that stuff needs to be fixed. And I really want to get the wi windshield wipers working if I'm going to try and use it as, you know, a, a driver-ish car. You know, Because this thing, I don't give a flying crap if, uh, you know, she gets run in the rain. Because have you seen it? It's kind of junk. But it's fun junk. So... Let's get to finagling with something. I'm actually going to run out of town and get these parts, and then we'll be back. look absolutely sweet in there kind of a pain in the butt to mount up as you've seen you know they don't fit in the actual light buckets so they're just you know you use the ring and kind of got to move it around and stuff it's a pain in the butt but they're in there they're not going anywhere and they look amazing with all of this going on mm. Mm. if i ever get around to it i want to fix the rust in the spots i mean fix the rust throw some patch panels in there, skim some mud over it. It's never going to be a show car, but maybe good enough to, you know, hit with some paint at some point here. Um, Jordan recommended I do, like, uh, Blitz Black, which is a satin black. I think it'd look kind of sweet on there. Obviously, we'd put the light bar and stuff back on it once that's on there and leave all the, the chrominess and all that. But, 
Yeah, what do you guys think about that? Do you think we should paint this thing? Or do you think we should just leave this thing just the way she is? Um, also, radiator is fully in. Check that guy out. That is one beefy unit. I think it's going to cool so much better than the old one. Um, hoping there's enough room between there and there that it doesn't melt my fans. But uh, if it does, I guess it does. So whatever but now i'm gonna just move on to getting the other side of headlights on um probably not gonna video that because we got that one but yeah she's coming along i always forget just how bad this car was and still is on rust related issues so yeah this back here this is where this rear seat would sit real bad going to the trunk nice aeration in there and up here you know there's there's nothing left of any of that so i was like well shit, i'll just i'll patch that up no big deal but then i'm like well what's the point in doing that if i want to you know lob the frame rail off put new straight rails back z it up over the rear axle and put a four linked uh ford 88 rear end in it and then a different trans and actually make this thing handle and drive better instead of all flappy like she is now. But uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna have to live with all that rust for now and worry about the other stuff and then take care of all that. Whenever I do the rear frame rails, I'll just cut the entire floor out of the car, make a whole new floor, probably put a cage or at least a hoop in it um, and then some seats with five point harnesses or something just to kind of keep you situated because currently there's no seat belts in this thing. Um, I like to live life on the edge, you know. It's going to be a free day. I don't have half the things that I need. I was going to put the wiring harness in the car. Um, turns out Jordan has taken all of the wiring stuff down to his shop. Um, so I don't have any of the wire loom. I have a bunch of connectors and stuff in my box, but I don't have my solder connectors. I don't have shrink wrap. I don't have... Like I said, the loom, that's the big one right there. I need the loom, um, cause I'm not just running bare wires all throughout that car again. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you later.